Where do I recommend that you buy fragrance samples? Fragrance Samples UK. That's where. What I said to the rabbit I saw leaving droppings in our local park. The next time you're in a beautiful outdoor setting, enjoy yourself, but be sure to leave things just as you found them. That way the next person can enjoy them too. Me trying to connect with another YouTuber for a live stream. Come in, you royal boob! My dad explaining to me that I wouldn't be able to go on a school outing because he needed all our spare money for the pub and the betting shop. Well, we parents may not always be right, but we try, because we love our children and we try to do what's best for them. And I'll tell you a secret. We really hate to say no to something they really want. So when we do, we usually have a pretty good reason. Try to remember that. Me when I ask someone for directions, but they say they're not local, so they don't know the area either. I don't forget those who refuse to help me. My ex-wife when I returned our son from his last once monthly visit with me. You blundering skull face! You said you'd taken care of them! Me to my ex-wife when she found out I'd had an affair with her sister. It's at times like these that we must remember everyone deserves a second chance. We all make mistakes. And when we do, it's nice to have a friend who will understand and give us another chance. Me when my friend told me he drinks two bottles of whiskey a day and he thinks he might have a problem. There's nothing to be concerned about. As a matter of fact, it's healthy. So don't worry. When a YouTuber turns down a sponsorship from a beard care brand. He proved his worth when he was able to resist the temptation to use his great power for any selfish gain. Me after watching a crazy rant from Original Dogman. He's someone I could almost respect. And this is me when people complain about my videos and try and get me cancelled. Foolish mortals, say hello to Molcrum. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the show. So today we're going to do something a bit different. So I'm going to do th just three fragrances that are totally not me, but I really love them. Nice contrast there, right? So I've been doing a lot of classic fragrance uh, videos lately and of course uh, talking about my world domination, but we'll do more of that in the next video. By the way, all the fragrances in this video are available at Fragrance Samples UK, my collaborators in the vid. And that is my recommended place to get fragrance samples in the UK. Uh, we've got a special code for you for the month of September. It's going to be a code SMELLY5. And that code is active now. The day I'm uploading this video, however, of course, if you're watching it much later, the code may well no longer be active. There's a link to Fragrance Samples UK in the description, and uh, they're an absolutely fantastic place to get fragrance samples run by my great friend Greg from the Greggy Boy 76 channel. I buy fragrance samples from them. They would probably send me most stuff free, but I, I don't like to take advantage. I actually still do buy things from their website, and like any normal customer, they come really quick, and it's just a great way to try fragrances. Sizes, I think, from one to 10 mils, better to try stuff than blind buy stuff. Before I get into today's choices, um, I'm just going to give you a, a kit list of ones that I've mentioned before, because if I just put these in the video, you'd be like, oh, it's like a stuck record. But you know, guys, if you haven't tried any of these, do sample these fragrances. These, these are incredible scents. So first one, Chypre Siam from Rogue Perfumery. Amazing uh, kind of literally rogue house because he's, he's a naughty boy and he doesn't use IFRA compliant ingredients. Chypre Siam is absolutely stunning. Uh, I think he's a Canadian perfumer, but you can get those at Fragrance Samples UK. By the way, if you're not in the UK, everything I talk about in this video should still be of interest. Uh, another top, top hit for me is, uh, you know, boring to mention this again, Cedrat Boise. People talk about Aventus, it doesn't smell like Aventus. Greg doesn't really rate this one, I know, but I do. Uh, citrus and fruitiness. It's still a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. If you haven't tried it, you must, you must. Just a couple more then. Amouage Sunshine Man. Remarkable, incredible niche fragrance. Wonderful use of Immortel with lavender. It is my, my favourite exotic lavender smell ever. Do try this if you haven't, guys. It's, it's different and unique. That's what I like. Bollocks. <coughs> And finally, seeing as I mentioned it in my last video on uh, classic uh, favourite fougeres, designer ones, uh, Gucci No Bill. They do have some great discontinued scents on Fragrance Samples UK. And this is a stunning, stunning benchmark fougere from 1988. And of course, if you want to buy this on eBay, full bottle going to cost you a lot. So good idea 
to try first and then you'll know if it's worth spending money and, and time to find a full bottle. Let's get into today's fragrances then. So like I said, I've done a lot where I keep doing classic scents lately, but you know, let's not typecast poor Mr. Smelly that much. I do like other things. Sometimes I like a gourmand or an oud fragrance. So let's talk about some of those today that I think are really, really astounding. And I haven't had much coverage of, of, on my channel up until now. So the first one is a, a recent release from this year. Material from Amouage. Now this is a really recent 2021 release, Perfumer Cecile Zarokian. Because I'm kind of a big deal, I got sent uh, a sample set with a rather nice atomizer. But uh, for the rest of you, you'll have to find other means to try this one. So I really love this, this fragrance. It's not my stereotypical type of thing that you guys associate with me. So I'll give you the note listing first. You've got patchouli, elemi, uh, Madagascan vanilla, my favorite kind of vanilla. Then you've got benzoin, tonka bean, incense, uh, guyac wood, labdanum oud, and osmanthus. So, uh, the theme on this one, I thought, what a strange name, Material, but then I found out it's to do with, a uh, little bit to do with Material Girl, the song from Madonna, and there's some kind of inspiration from the 80s, but I don't really know how that particularly ties in with the smell. Anyhow, first thing on this one is it's one of the most beautiful tonka bean smells, and it's, it's a sweet smell, certainly in the opening. It may remind many people of Feve Delicios, the famous Dior Privé line, is it Dior Privé? I hope so, yeah, uh, which is a great sort of tonka bean vanilla fragrance and uh, Jeremy Fragrance years ago used to love it. Uh, very much a unisex fragrance as is this. I think it, it comes in the female type bottle that we've, we've what, what we've tended to think of as the Amouage female line but I, I would call this a hundred percent unisex. Of course a lot of guys love Fave Delicious so um, yeah it opens up with a, absolutely the equal of Fave Delicious with the beautiful creamy tonka and the sweetness and then though as you, you hear from the note listing with the oo, the incense, the labdanum, it goes in an agaic wood, it goes in a more smoky, sultry, sexy direction than the uh, aforementioned Dior fragrance. It, it kind of takes that idea and gives it this really different new twist and, and as it develops on your skin, which I have allowed it to do a few times, it, it goes in a more interesting, complex direction. So material, guys, if you want something a bit different, check out this fragrance. I think Amourage, you know, become, I'm really becoming a convert to Amourage. They have some absolute gems and uh, incredibly, there's going to be another one of theirs in a minute. But before that, let's move on to Fragrance 2. Fragrance 2 I've talked about before, but not for ages. So newer viewers probably never heard me mention it. Bojnikov, formerly known as Mr. Bojnikov's Purple Hat. But you can see why they shortened that name. And it's by Fort and Manly. So this is a Rassai Fort Fantastic uh, Perfumer. And it is a remarkable, incredible fragrance. So I'll give you the note listing. It's uh, Oud, Lavender, Vanilla. Uh, Belgian chocolates, that's my favorite kind of, actually that actually is my favorite kind of chocolate, vetiver, guyac wood, and cedar wood. So uh, it's, it's kind of a, a dark semi-gourmandish fragrance. The Belgian chocolate thing is this kind of a dark bitter chocolate. It's got oud that is a little bit funky and animalic, but because there's this almost gourmand element, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful tr contrast. It's kind of smoky and woody and exotic at the same time. It's, it's, it's rich, but it's not oppressively rich. It, it's one that I feel it's actually very versatile. It'd be a perfect autumn fragrance, autumn or fall that we're coming into now. But any time of the year, brilliant and particularly great in a, a night out. It's something really cozy and enticing about this fragrance. So but it, the theme with this one was something to do with a magician in Russia in the 19th century or something, does some kind of show and purple smoke comes out of his hat. So, well, you know, it was nice that they gave us this, this little story that inspired the fragrance. How that ties into, I'm not sure where the chocolate came in. There's a kind of smoky feel about it. I guess I get that, but whether the chocolate, maybe he had some chocolates in the story too, I can't remember. But it's, it really is. It's a stunning, it's, it, I, I dug it out after not wearing it for a while. And it's great that the Fragrance Samples UK do stock a lot of these kind of smaller indie niche brands as well as the, the bigger ones that you'd expect. So guys, let me know if you've tried this. Again, you know, you, it's not your old school gentlemanly sense, it's kind of your modern niche avant-garde perfumery. And you know, despite what you guys think of me, sometimes I can appreciate those styles and, and really enjoy them. <laughs> oh, pardon me. And the final choice then, I, I just realized that I kind of didn't connect these two scents, but they are from the same house. Their the similarities end. This is Interlude Man, another one I don't have a bottle of, but my, I did buy my sample from Fragrance Samples UK, and I actually put it in one of these for, to kind of make it look more posh, but don't do that, guys, if you want to keep a fragrance for a while, because they evaporate. So um, these, these kind of bottles like this, if you want things, for, you know, if you, if you try and buy and keep a fragrance for a long time, these are not a good move. Anyway. 
I'd like to have a full bottle, I must say, because I think it's a, a benchmark release. 2012 was the year, it was Pierre Negron, Negron, ne Negron. Um, and uh, you know, everyone calls it the Blue Beast, but I, that is unfair because people just think, oh, it's really in your face and over the top, it's the world's most scary fragrance. It's not, it's sophisticated, it's complicated. It is exotic, it is smoky, it is woody. It's, it's certainly not my traditional French style, uh, you know, or eau de cologne, Italian chic perfumes that I like. But I do appreciate this one. The note listing is oregano, pepper, bergamot, incense, a popanax, amber, labdanum, leather, oud, sandalwood, and patchouli. So it is a marvelously spicy, rich, exotic fragrance. I think it is actually oh, it's lovely. It's potentially quite sexy. And I think people who are thinking this is some kind of a novelty fragrance that you can't actually wear, I don't get that. I think it's really, really good. I know one guy uh, who's got a channel and um, he actually, uh, he, he, he wears it in the summertime, in the daytime, and why not? I really love Interlude Man. It's a remarkable benchmark release, and if you haven't tried it, you really, really should. Don't believe the scare stories. It's not as scary as you think. It's a masterpiece of perfumery. So guys, those were my picks. Three fragrances that are totally not me, but I totally love them. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of fragrances do you like that are not your typical thing, but that shocked you? You know, do, are you normally a classic fragrance fan, but when no one's looking, you love Invictus Aqua? Do you love it? Do you have a secret affection for one million? Let me know in the comments down below and anything else you'd like to talk about, uh, anything else about my new world order that I've inaugurated for the FragCom. It's, it's gonna be tough leading it, but uh, I, think, I, I, think I, can, uh, I think I can deal with this. Uh, it's, it's gonna be a pretty, uh, pretty interesting times ahead. So guys, let me know all about all that, into what you think in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project and remember, sometimes life stinks, but we can always smell good.